Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are here today looking at the upcoming promotion of FIFA Ultimate Team called Team of the Year. It's arguably one of the top promos in FIFA, and I want to take a look at what happened last year, what could happen this year, and just kind of take a look at the promo as a whole before it comes out and talk about what you guys could see a little bit on the market. Uh, we'll do a, a later video in the next day or so talking about more direct things on the market and what you could see um, but this one's just going to be more about the promotion itself talking about the SBCs and the content that we do get and the cards of course that come out during team of the year which is like the main point of team of the year is getting those insane insane stat boost 99 rated cards like every card's over like 95 rated basically or 93 rated it's crazy uh, but that's how awesome team of the year is so we're just going to talk about this promotion today i know that it, right now we are not at team of the year yet this comes out on january 6th as it states down here at the bottom uh, but i'm putting this out early for you guys just so you can get a nice idea of what's going on and of course i'm not currently around right now as many of you guys may know i'm on a little bit of a trip with my family uh, so I, I do not have the ability to take all my you know fifa stuff with me so that is why we're pre-recording this and i wanted to get something out for you guys that i can put out kind of in this middle time frame um, when i'm not around but also talk about something useful in fifa and help you guys out with some information and that is looking back on team of the year now Obviously, this voting team of the year voting ended a few days ago, uh, so we can't vote anymore. Now, the, they did it differently this year than they did in past years. I don't know if you guys remember FIFA 18 or FIFA 19. They had the ballot boxes where they would send the boxes to the YouTubers or to you know celebrities or professional athletes, and they would put those. Actually, they had specific little card items. They would send them a physical box. And they would like tweet at EA or send the box back to EA with their official team of the year vote. And they would do it with their community. So EA was like, yeah, it's a community vote, right? Well, kind of, I guess. But uh, this year, it's a true, true community vote because everybody and anybody who wanted to vote could click the link and go vote on these cards. We had all 55 nominees um, presented to us with the option of picking three attackers, three midfielders, four defenders and a goalkeeper so uh it was cool that like the entire community got to vote this year uh instead of having the ballot box system we also got these nominee cards in packs of course they're out of packs they're rare they're really fun to trade with a lot of you guys know that um at this time so it was cool to get those in packs but um the team of the year voting has ended so we're now it's just kind of them telling the votes and they're going to put out the team of the year for the starting 11 and we'll probably get a 12th player like we did last year with Neymar as well so I'm going to talk about that a little bit today as well but again I want to just kind of go over the timeline really fast the final team of the year vote will be announced on January 6th with this which is a Monday uh, which should be like a week from now and then uh, those special team of the year items will be released in packs for a limited amount of time. Now, the way that they release these is really interesting as well. I'm not sure if they're going to do it the same as they did last year or if they'll mix it up. But last year, basically what they did was they dropped them uh, for like one day at a time to start it off. And then they've done this in past FIFAs before. Last year, they started with the forwards on day one, midfielders on day two, and then goalkeepers and defenders on day three and then they put them all into packs after that so you can see right here the forwards came into packs monday the 7th of 2019 they were in packs for one day the midfielders came out then the goalkeepers and defenders came out until the the 10th and then the full team was in packs oh right here the full team was in packs from the 10th to the 14th so basically it is a one week promotion um uh, monday to monday and Either the attackers, the midfielders, the goalkeepers, and defenders, they're all out at individual times. And then the full squad is released in packs as well. So you really have to be careful with when you try to open your packs, right? Because they do this every year. And I think they switch up the order every year as well. Last year, they did the team of the year forwards first. And if I'm not mistaken, in FIFA 18, they did the goalkeepers and defenders first. So... I would be curious to see if they flip that around this year again for FIFA 20 and rock with the goalkeepers and defenders in the first uh, the first day of packs that are being opened. And there would be five team of the year cards in packs, of course. Then they move to three in the midfield and three in attack. So we'll see what happens with that. But that is kind of the order and how it goes, right? You have a few in packs for a couple days and then they all are in packs for the end. And it's, it's always a big question. When do you open your packs, right? 
Personally, I always just wait until the full team is out in packs because why open packs when there's three team of the year cards in, uh, possible to be packed when you can have all 11 in packs, right? You know, you never know what you're going to hit. So a lot of people wait to open their cards until the full squad is in packs unless they change it up this year. Uh, that's probably what I would do for you guys as well. I mean, of course, wait until they're all in packs and then open them up. There's a few days where they do that. Of course, they're running lightning rounds like every single day um, because people want to pack these cards and people drop mad money in this game. I mean, for goodness sake, they dropped lightning rounds uh, recently in FIFA when we had all we had in packs were prime icons. Prime icons were in packs and they ran lightning rounds. And you know how many people pack those? Like none, <laughs> like none. So the pack rate on those is crazy low, uh, which is crazy. But uh, it is, uh, they love dropping the lightning rounds this year. And thinking back to Black Friday and seeing just how many packs there were, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, there were like 250,000 of the ultimate packs. So 250,000 of the 125K packs during Black Friday and that lightning round sold out. So I would expect some massive, massive pack numbers again on Black Friday, and that'll again we'll get into some of the the packs and the the market stuff. We'll talk about that in the next video. But again, looking at the team of the year cards, they do are they are basically in, in packs for a week. Some of them, you know, they're not in, all in packs for a week. As some of them come out one day and they're out, and then they come back in when the full team is in packs right there. So those are the cards. Then last year we did get a 12th man basically and we got a vote where we got a team of the year nominee card and we had to choose one or or yeah it was like a player pick I think and we had to choose one uh, to turn it in for our vote and it was kind of between people thought it was going to be Neymar or Pogba and last year Neymar won which I'm glad he did because that card was fantastic to use uh, for me towards the FIFA Ultimate Team but again this year I would imagine that we would get a if not, if not not one excuse me, maybe a couple nominees that could win the vote, but I would at least say a 12th man, I think would be very, very possible. So I would expect that to be coming out in some shape or form. And you know, to be honest, I do think we could get some more nominee SBCs as we transition to talking about some of the SBCs we got last year. I don't know if you guys remember the Centurion SBC, which was the David Silva, a special version of David Silva, which was, they, they used the player moments or the at the moment, they use the um, the nominee card design for some of these cards, but they 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 chose players that had a record-breaking season, and I think they technically were Team of the Year nominees in the voting. So we had a David Silva SBC last year. Uh, we had a nominee Bale SBC, and also a nominee Versalco for their um, for the UCL final game-winning goal for Bale, and then uh, consistent team contributions. Or 87 rated Versalco. So I would say that we could expect some more nominee SBCs, which basically for me would look like these nominee cards that we had to vote on. Um, but they give them maybe just the boosted stats, right? So they have a nominee card that's on the market, but then they give them like a, a nominee. Or maybe they even use the team of the year card design. That would be crazy if they did that. To use a team of the year card design SBC for some of these, like the cornerstone, the champion, uh, picking some of those guys that were in team of the year voting that didn't get in. I do think we think that we should see some of those other stuff that we saw during team of the year. And, and this was, this was the crazy thing last year. We had solid content during team of the year last year. We got the upgrade SBCs that we wanted. We had daily pack challenges. Uh, we had icon SBCs. And of course we did have, we had some upgrade SBCs other than just the, the leagues uh, and then flashbacks as well. So of course, I think they dropped this on day one last year. It was either day one or day two that they dropped well, that first of all, they dropped a flashback Tevez on day one of Team of the Year, which was cool. A lot of people did that SBC, um, but we did get these upgrades, right? And these upgrades were out for basically the entire duration of Team of the Season, and it was the good upgrades. Like I mentioned, a premium gold pack. So there was the Premier League upgrade and the premium Premier League upgrade, which was a 25K pack, basically. The 25K pack of all players, 12 Premier League players, three rare. Now, if we get these packs this year, GGEA, Thank you very much. And it, it doesn't say what this squad... Yeah, let me look and see what this squad required. You had to have 11 rare players. So rare players definitely went up to like 1,000 coins for some of those leagues. Um, and when we start to talk about some of the leagues and which of the rare players go higher, you look at Le uh, League Un. If Neymar and Mbappe both get in Team of the Year, you will see those 
uh, rare gold cards in the market shoot up a lot because there's not as many rare golds in uh, League 1. But Premier League and La Liga are the ones that people do the most because you have your highest chance of packing Team of the Year cards from those, but I really, really hope that they put these packs out again. The Premier League upgrade and the premium, like EA, please just copy paste your content from FIFA 19 and put it in FIFA 20 because these SBCs are the ones that we want. Keep the requirements the same, right? 11 rare players, I'll pay the price. I will do that SBC to be able to pack a team of the year. Last year, I think I spent around like two and a half to three million coins doing upgrade packs during team of the year. It's like packs on packs on packs. That's like all we're doing. You're trying to like trade on the sides. So you can make coins to do more packs as well. It's crazy. Um, but uh, these upgrade packs, I hope and pray that EA releases the same ones this year because these are really good packs and they're fun to grind. We had an 82 plus pack as well that was thrown in there uh, along with the upgrades, which was which was cool. And um, again, then we had some flashback cards. And the flashback cards last year during Team of the Year were phenomenal. The Tevez SBC was like, it was a really good card and it was priced accurately for that type of card. Now, obviously, he had really insane stats, but I think he only had a three star weak foot, right? Three star weak foot, four star skill. So I, I remember a lot of people did this card last year and it worked out for some uh, because you could actually kind of. Um, you could craft your those cards last year with the upgrade pack. So if you were putting money into upgrades, you were probably getting some higher rated cards and that allowed you to go out and do either some of these um, team of the year nominee SBCs like um, David Silva, or you could work on some of the flashbacks, which we got flashback Ibrahimovic last year during the team of the year promo. I think a lot of people don't remember that. Um, but the most, the two like, the SBCs that stand out to me the most, I think, were the Team of the Year nominee Bale, which was very expensive early on. And then Flashback Ibra was a decent value when he first came out. A lot of people did him. I did that card. People used him for the rest of the year. We had a Flashback Casillas as well, which was one that I think I might have grinded to and crafted because of the upgrade packs. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what we got last year during Team of the Year. We got the daily Team of the Year challenge, pack SBCs, which I hope that comes again. The good upgrade packs, an 82 plus upgrade, uh, and then uh, the flashback SBCs and some of the other um, team of the year SBCs as well, the nominees. So is there anything different that I could see this year? Possibly a team of the week SBC. Last year we got a team of the week SBC over the Christmas time period when the um, when there were Road to the Final Set 2 cards that were in packs. Now I don't know if we're going to get Road to the Final Set 2 this year, I'm honestly not too sure. Uh, we haven't had a Team of the Week SBC for a, a little bit of time. So I would be interested to see if we do get a Team of the Week SBC. Um, I would expect probably, I, mean, I know I'm recording this video early, but another League SBC possibly to come in that time frame. And we're going to talk about these in a video soon too, um, because these cards, these SBCs are used a ton during Team of the Year for people that want to grind tradable packs. If they don't want to do upgrade packs, People will go and grind these just to get packs. They honestly will. And even before Team of the Year, they're going to grind these packs to just get packs stocked up for Team of the Year. So we'll talk about those League SBCs uh, at some point as well. But again, that's kind of what Team of the Year is about. I mean, we looked at the, the squad. We looked at the nominees from this year. Um, I mean, the voting is in, so we can't really change any of that. But that's kind of what we can expect for team of the year right obviously the big cards are in packs it's a huge promo and ea realizes that there's tons of people that are new to the game in this time period as well get the game for christmas get some fifa points for christmas uh, or just have extra time to play the game for christmas it means more people on fifa which means that people can spend money in this game and ea drops content for people of all types of coin budgets and stuff like that so um team of the year is a fun one man it really is a fun one and uh, hopefully this helped you guys kind of get your minds wrapped around Team of the Year, maybe remind you a little bit about what we could see, some of the content, some of the promotional stuff that we should see for Team of the Year in FIFA 20. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.